My name is Deborah Riley, and I'm a member and artist with Conroe Art League, and I also work part-time as the gallery manager here in the Maidley Gallery. Hi, I'm Christine Schneider, an artist member here at Conroe Art League, exhibiting in the um, Art Student Scholarship uh, show we have up right now. Okay, my name is Juan Cantabella. I'm an artist and uh, an art teacher. And uh, this is what I do. The 12 by 12 is an annual fundraiser that the members of the Conroe Art League do to raise money for high school seniors in Montgomery County. Our members take these panels in the fall and the first of the next year, they turn them in painted or uh, with some type of creation that they've done. It's not always painting. We have quilling, we have pottery, we have a lot of different things. They donate the panel and then they donate their time to work in the gallery. And at the end of the month, the monies that are raised through the auctioning of these panels go to fund the awards for our student art show that's held in the spring. So it's a, it's a really good cause, it's a great tradition, and our members um, really enjoy participating in it, I think. I am a mostly painter. I do some illustration. Um, I like to work with all mediums, but my favorite is oil. So one technique I like a lot is to just rub paint all over the canvas and then scrape out and rub out the highlights so that it makes kind of, it looks kind of like a, um, a burnt leather when it's all finished. So it's pretty interesting. So I use oil mainly because it's the only thing I've ever really uh, tried to do and I feel comfortable with it, but I don't feel like I'm accomplished yet in that medium, so I don't really want to branch out. I like to focus on learning one specific thing. And I paint mainly uh, realistic, so I don't branch off into abstract or impressionism. I feel like I'm still trying to learn to do that realism. I was 15 years old when I realized that I could paint and, and I wanted to paint. but. Uh, Art school wasn't an option for me in that time. My father didn't want me to paint. He said, artists don't make money, you know, be somebody, you need to study. And he fought with me because I was losing time painting and drawing. And he wanted me to, to study other stuff, which I wasn't very good at it. But that's what I have to do. So I study architecture and I got my degree in architecture and I work all, my whole life, but always I said, okay, maybe one day I'm gonna paint. So I start painting when I retired. <laughs> I always loved art, but I was never serious about it. Um, I saw my mother become an artist in her 40s was when she started. Uh, she turned out to be really good and she taught uh, and had a lot of years uh, with her painting. But I didn't get a, a strong interest in it until I was forced to find something else to do. I was a big tennis player and I had some injuries where I couldn't play anymore and suddenly I had all this free time so I decided to take art lessons. And so that's how I got started painting. I, I love to paint and I love to teach. I love to, to tell other people what I learned the hard way because I'm self-taught. So I like to teach it the easy way to others. <laughs> uh, I've always enjoyed art, you know, as a kid, coloring, crayons were my favorite gift ever. Um, but didn't realize that I had any talent until high school. Um, my experience in high school was, was really special to me. I had amazing art teachers, which is why the Student Art Scholarship is such a, a great benefit for me to participate in. My, my um, high school art teacher was Anne Marie Hopkins, which if you're from this area, you probably have heard of her. <laughs> um, but she gave me my very first artist license, and it was invisible. 
and it was pretend, but it was real to me because she said, you know, from now on, from this day forward, whatever you make, it's art because you're an artist. And that was just such a, a vote of confidence for me and, and just, you know, set me on my way to, to whatever I made was art. There's no bad paintings, just unfinished ones. <laughs> I had a, a, an experience that were, were, were a big impact in me when I was about 19, 20 years old. I had the privilege to visit the studio of a very famous painter in that time in Venezuela. He was uh, the guy that painted the president and all the important things. And he just died. But uh, his widow somehow kept his uh, studio open. And uh, I went to visit and I had the privilege to see one paint unfinished paint of the president in Venezuela, which it was a huge impact for me. It was a life-size painting. And uh, that lady was so good to me that she gave me a big bag of paints and brushes and stuff of him, which I treasured for many, many years. But, you know, uh, since then I, I said, this is what I want to do. Yeah, it's surprising the number of people that don't know what's in downtown Conroe. Uh, first off, there's this great historic area of these buildings that have been here since 1911, uh, which is, we're in one of those historic buildings. Um, once you get down here, then you find out that there's this great little art gallery tucked in the middle of um, a few restaurants and a few antique stores. Uh, and not only do we have the gallery, but we've got this great classroom space, and we have these incredible teachers, uh, members that are so accomplished, but we also have brand new artists, we have programs for children. Uh, it's just such a wide range. I think anybody that's looking for something that they can get involved in, um, it's just worth the trip down. I think they'll find it here. Come on to the Conroe Art League Gallery, uh, 127 Simonton, and, and check out the show. You will find inspiration here because there are artists at every level. There are new artists who just get at it every day and make new art, and it's so inspiring to watch them grow. And then there are masters like Juan Cantorvea, um, who you'll see his piece in the courtyard right now because he won the People's Choice Award. Um, and, and many, many others. The show right now, the 12 by 12, is amazing. You can see some of it maybe behind me. Um, but, and you can go online to check it out. But definitely, if you can, come see it in person because you'll be in, amazed with the talent here. Well, uh, I would say that this is a, a, a group of artists that I haven't seen anywhere else. I am. Um, amazed how well this uh, group of artists is doing, especially the, the Conro Art League and the, the, the staff on the uh, uh, board. It's, it's amazing. I, I was uh, belonging to a several groups of artists in California. I, I never seen something like here in, in Conro, so well organized and working so well. So, I will recommend everybody to be a member of Conroe Art League and, you know, make this group bigger and bigger and better and better. So make sure and make a trip down to the Conroe Art League. We're at 127 Simonton Street, uh, downtown Conroe, Texas. We have all the 12x12 on display, but you can also go to our website, which is conroeartleague.com. There's a section there with a link that lets you see images of all the artwork and you can place an online bid.